Hi, today I'm reviewing the Becca Liquid Crystal Glow Gloss. And I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And this is the full size and it sells for $22. There are six shades and the shades I purchased was Amethyst and Geode, which is a lavender duochrome with aquamarine shift. And I'll give you a swatch here so you can see. Um, but you can tell if you're looking at it from very close up or on a different object, you can kind of see the uh, duochrome shift in it. But once you apply it to your lips, it just isn't pigmented enough for you to actually really see it. Um, the formula is very glossy and it's not drying at all, which is great. Um, but in terms of actually getting the uh, pigment and the bang for your buck for what you're seeing, it just isn't quite there. Um, and on your lips it wears off so quickly because it is so glossy and kind of sticky that it just doesn't it doesn't work great there's other better glosses out there like smashbox has a great one that is pretty pigmented but this if you're just looking for like a light gloss um, there's not an issue with that but if you're looking for the uh, duo chromatic look uh, you're not gonna it's not gonna stand out as much once you put it on your lips but uh, the other thing I really disliked was this just has a taste on it, and I didn't like that. On the list of ingredients, it has uh, flavor as one of them, which I don't exactly know what that is per se. Um, but it definitely has just one of those tastes where it's kind of gross. You know, and lip glosses and lipsticks, if they've got a little bit of a vanilla flavor, that seems to not bother me as much. But when it's got something else in it, it's just kind of gross. But Otherwise, the packaging on this is great. It's got the little Becca logo on the top like she has on all of her products. Um, otherwise, this was a very close hit for me, but just didn't, uh, it wouldn't be something I'd reach for ever again in my makeup bag. So for those reasons, I'm not going to give it any thumbs up and I'm not going to give it any thumbs down. And I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this or if you like glosses or lipsticks, if you find glosses too sticky. Um, I'm kind of interested to see, and if you've had a chance to try this or one of the other colors, let me know what you think, and also feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you, guys.